We all know how important it is to use mock-ups in your designs because it makes the design come alive and it could tell the customer a story and make them picture how the product is going to look like at the end of the day. You can even use it on your website to showcase your products, whether it's actual product, apparel, or whatever kind of products you have. If you use mockups, you actually tell a story and people buy stories. So in this video, we're going to use our Canva to tell stories with our mockups. Join me. So first thing that you're going to do, you're going to open up a canvas, a blank one. I'm using a thumbnail. You can use anyone that you would like to use. And by the way, I'm using my free account. As you can see, it says try Canva Pro because the mockups feature, the app that comes with the mockups is available to free or paid version. So it's also very important to take note that this only works if you're using an image or a photo. So you can go find wherever you've saved the logo that you want to use for your mockup. We're going to be doing three mockups. The first one would be a logo on a t-shirt. The second one, we're going to be adding it on a mobile like an Instagram mobile to showcase that. And the last one, we're going to put it on a cup just to give you an, an overall idea of the various mockups that are at your disposal when you're using Canva. And not only that, there's more. At the end of the video, I'll show you what I mean. So now you're going to load the image. It's very important to take note that you need to use an image. Then you're going to click on edit image and you're going to look for this app that's called Smart Mockups. You need to scroll until you find the app if it doesn't show as the first one because I've recently used it. So you just click on the mockup and then it will open up all sorts of mockups that are available for you to use that logo that you've loaded. So I want us to use it on a t-shirt. I'm going to select this t-shirt number one and then it starts loading the mockup on the t-shirt and you see it's done loading it and it looks huge so now you need to adjust it so that you're happy with the end results and i can see the text as well so when you move to these three dots and this notes it tells you that there are settings. You just click on there and it opens up the settings. So I want to change the object color and make it a black t-shirt. And then I want to change the feel of how it looks like. Currently it's fully filled. You could say fit as well and you see how it looks like. I still don't like that mock-up the way that it's fit in the t-shirt. Then you can just customize it. When you customize it, then you can adjust the horizontal, vertical, as well as the size to get to a place where you're happy with the size. So I'm gonna get to the size that I like, and then I'm gonna move it a little bit up. And you can play around with the settings until you're happy. Once you're happy, you just click on apply. And your mock-up is done and dusted. You can then send it to the printer, send it on your website. And that is how you apply it on a t-shirt. Let's now look at how we apply it on a cell phone. I'm going to load my Instagram page. I'm going to load my Instagram page picture or image and then I'm going to load the mock-up then I'm going to go you click on the image itself then you click on edit image and then you go to mock-ups and then you go and you look until you find one that you like I like this one then you allow the software to apply and there you go as easy as that if you're happy with that the feel and how it looks like 
you can leave it as is or you can go to the settings and then adjust and make it fit the way that you would like to make it fit lastly i want to show you if you have text that you've typed so this is very important because you might have a problem if you've typed text and you want to apply mockup it doesn't work that way this text you need to convert it to a image in other words you need to save it as an image because if i've highlighted the text like this do you see that edit image is not available because this is still text so you need to change your text to a png or a jpeg so that it is an image and then you can apply it to your cup as an image so i'm going to delete my text i'm going to add the image that i've saved and you can crop it and make it whatever size you want cool now it's an image that's why the edit image functionality is available then you click on edit image and then you go to your smart mockups and then you can scroll down until you find a cup let's look for one way somebody's holding oh this one is also fine there's the mug if there we go if you're happy with how it looks like on the mug and that is how your smart mockups work for free on canva that's not the last thing that i want to show you uh with canva the mockups that are available are limited so smart mockups have their own website that's not attached to canva and you're most welcome especially when you're getting a lot of orders and you're getting more people wanting different kinds of mockups when you're designing or when you're designing for yourself and you want to show more than what canva is um, offering there's print there's magazines there's there's a whole lot more that's available that you can go and explore on the website itself and there's also a pro version over there there's also free mockups that they are uh, they give to you for free so the one that has a pro would tell you that that's a a paid version and there's a free version that you could download use for your design and and so on so i'm gonna add a link on the description below take note i am an affiliate of smart mockups so they won't charge you extra but when you decide to upgrade and you want to do more than what canva offers by all means please use my link so that i get a small commission but other than that thank you for joining me on this tutorial Please like so that YouTube can share this video with other designers or business owners so that people can grow their brains. I will see you next time.